<laughs> and we're back. Wolfie oh Spanish God. is we can't count borderline non-existent. Actually, before I go to war, let me let me do all my little things here. Ooh. Um, so let's see. I'm no longer building harbors and and uh, encampments for now, and I'd like to get some more money back on my units. Um, hey. I also want to stop producing cavalry because I have a lot of them, and I'd rather oh. start producing defensive buildings. And then I want to keep my Fair raid, uh, uh, yeah, raid production. So boom, now yeah. I'm gaining money instead of losing money. Um, yeah, units. Not much. But... Some some units cost gold per turn. Uh, actually, a lot of units cost gold per turn. And uh, I was <laughs> because I'm I've got such a large army. I was actually losing quite a bit of money. So I, I've reversed that now, and I can't build an aqueduct without getting rid of. Well, it's that like mine. war costs money or something. Yeah, it's expensive. Weird. But it's also usually pretty good for you, um, because like I can use uh, my cavalry to burn down other people's stuff and get me some money back. So. Yeah, going to war builds character. Yeah. Uh, now let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and build another settler because I would like more cities. Generally speaking, around the medieval era is when I like to try and boom my economy. Um, let's see. We got some machinery upgrades. We built a stave church. That's the uh, point where you start to build additional pylons. Well, it's a part. So, like, I'm playing as Norway, and we get the Berserker, which is just a Viking unit. The Berserker is stupidly good in this. Stupid. Like, it, yeah, they're hey, stupidly good. You can't good. call them stupid. Well, they're stupid and they're good, right? They are immensely powerful. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The Vikings survived for. Uh, yeah? Yeah, you know, good. A time years. period. Yeah, they survived yeah. for a time period in real life. Yeah. Alright. It's actually an interesting phenomenon of, like, cultures that usually last about a hundred years or so mm -hmm. before they collapse entirely. Is that so? Really, the U.S. has been around for about 250 years. Uh, does that mean that we're doing really good, or does that mean that a collapse is imminent? Um... Pretty imminent. Should I should I be worried? Should I contact my local? We bombers? should probably start thinking about going to the moon. I mean, we've already gone to the moon, right? Haven't no, we? no, like permanently. Oh, permanently. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Just take one oxygen tank. <laughs> fly to the moon. I don't think a single oxygen the tank. I don't think a, a single oxygen tank is gonna last me. For, for that I mean, long. it'll last you for the rest of your life. Uh, I get it, because your life isn't going to be that long, because you're going to die of suffocation. I get it. You know my favorite thing is when someone explains the joke. Yeah, that's well, that's why I did it for you, because oh, okay, it's okay. your favorite Thank thing. You. Yeah, appreciate it. It's yeah. your favorite thing. Upgrade me... your boat. <laughs> Let me try and, um, let's see, I'll appoint Victor Ooh, Victor to would be good to fire. help stay. Yeah, yeah, to try and slow that rebellion or mm, it's gonna be four turns even but better. can you uh station some on there i have i have horsemen stationed here oh yeah 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 uh try and get them to stop rebelling and uh since you're gonna go there move an archery unit there to protect him. yeah these uh these scottish uh, you know and i should have seen this coming what do the scottish do right they rebel that's like their thing right yeah usually and they throw giant logs yeah usually again they were buddhism <laughs> Why is Greece <laughs> spreading Buddhism? That's uh, that's, that's a little bit. Of, that's, that's not correct. That's quite a bit of cross-cultural exchange. You yeah. know the fact. Who's Zanzibar? I mean, spicy today. The fact that um, yeah. boy, this game really doesn't. The the fact that uh, different civilizations can spread different religions in this game makes for some very interesting. Historical inaccuracies, let's call it that. Namely, I remember there was just Buddha one... Buddha once, like, spread Catholicism in one of our uh, games? My favorite one was, uh, I had the Germans in one game, and they had all been converted to Judaism. And they were spreading <laughs> Judaism. Which just... Because that's not topical that just, at all. <laughs> that just makes me so... Confused. Wow. That guy beat the crap out of my, uh... Oh, and he's dead. And he's dead. Alright, cool. Good, good for you. Hey, get that good, promotion. Good boy. Um, get a promotion, get a horse back. Yeah. Uh, but, like, it just... The, the fact... I don't know. I feel like if you took some quotes from this game out of context, uh, you would be 
branded as uh, every type off. of. Boy, these guys just do not quit. I might have to put the war against Scotland on pause because of how um, not wanting to be taken over these guys are. Which again, they seem a little. Uh, it's well, yeah, it's. I don't blame them. Yeah, like it's Scotland. Of course, they don't want to be taken over. They're Scotland. Yeah, I don't. I don't blame them. They, you know, do you want to be snuffed out? Not really. No. Uh, yeah, and they probably saw like what happened to uh, Lautaro and the Mapuche Empire. They're like, nope, <laughs> don't want, don't want that to happen to me. Ain't no out. way. So, I kind of sympathize with them. Um, so probably we'll just be happy with taking over Ire, uh, or at least trying to. And then, uh... You may just have to raise it on the next one. Yeah, if it comes to that. Which I'm not going to be too upset with, because burning down cities is, uh... One of my Quite favorite, fun. One of my favorite things to do. Yeah, just what casual arsonism. Yeah. Fine. No, who doesn't... Everyone, I feel like, has engaged in some casual level, arson. Level of arson, right? Yeah, some casual... <laughs> ca it, just casual arson. Not even... <laughs> I'm not even trying that hard. It's not competitive arson, right? It's just, just a little bit of arson, you know. Who doesn't like burning? Just, just a down? little, light arsonry. Speaking um. of arsonry, I need to find. Um, so they have a siege unit in their capital, which is not. Yeah, that's gonna be a little annoying. Eh, um. It's not. I mean, because siege units are good against ideal. defenses. They're not great against horsemen. But I also don't want to just stand here and take damage. Um, I will wait yeah. for one more offer, and hopefully I can get an offer better than that next time. If I pressure ten them into a gold. corner. Ooh. Well, 10 gold per turn is a lot of gold. No easy way. It's 30 300 turns. Total gold. Yeah, it's 300 gold. That's and in it. this, well, in this, in, in double speed games, that is a lot of gold. Well, that's true. Um, that's true. So, I, oh, no, they're still going to rebel. What, what inconsiderate individuals. I've liberated you yeah. from Scotland. Uh, but, like, 300 gold is quite a bit. But if I pressure these guys into capitulating even more, um, one, it'll be it good for be me. 12 for turn. Yeah, one, it'll be good for me, and two, it'll be good for uh, me turning Gorgo against them, which is... Yeah. Hey, having an ally on the same continent... So the reason that I took out L Lautaro was because I knew he was going to be an issue. Because I've never had good relations with Lautaro. Um, I also haven't really, I mean, I attacked Scotland just out of, like, I wanted to. Spite. <laughs> out of spite. Uh, it was kind of just a reaction to, like, oh, look, there's somebody here, let's beat him up. Um, but having an established ally on your continent, especially if it's an ally that is weaker than you, um, is usually a good thing. And I would like to have Orgo be an ally because she's very militarized, and if I can get her on my side... Then Plus, our, I think you have a crush on her. Uh, possibly. Yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's possible. I don't know. I, I like it. I like people who can hold their own in combat, and she's the queen uh -huh. of Sparta. So. Sure. Yeah, I like a woman who will just actually fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know like where the that woman is. that just holds a spear to my neck and I, says, "You will do what I say." Yeah, I, I don't know where that came from, but okay. <laughs> but imagine like. Imagine um, historical Sparta and Norway teaming up. Sparta and Norway are just like, yep, yeah, we're good. We're just like, we're going to beat the crap out of everybody everyone. who disagrees with us. And there's nothing anyone else can do because we're Norway and Sparta. Like, what are you going to do? Fight back? We're Norway and Sparta. <laughs> we do what we want, right? <laughs> Owie. I'm mostly stabbing these guys just for the experience of it, not so much to kill the units. I mean, you're gonna kill them eventually, but yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, go attack this guy for the experience. Get stabbed for the experience of getting stabbed. Right? We don't spar, we destroy. I want you to have the experience of getting stabbed in the face. So, Governor Victor has been ousted. Uh, the place has revolted again. But I will be taking it back because, you know, uh, because we're Norway and we do what we want. Um, I'll probably end so up burning. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I'll probably be burning Ire to the ground um, because they keep rebelling. Uh, but then You're going to set Ire on fire? I'm going. Can we talk? 
Can we have a serious <laughs> talk about the quality of jokes on this show? Um, no, because I think you're a liar. Oh, okay. Well, we can have a we can have a humorous talk about the quality of jokes on what, the show. What are you gonna be a crier? What is wrong with you today? <laughs> like, I don't know. I just took my clothes out of the dryer. It, I want you to know that that last one caused me physical pain. Uh oh. Like, I don't well, know. I didn't mean to make the situation dire. If I say nothing, he'll run out of jokes. If, oh. if I say nothing, he'll run out of things to say. And then I won't have to deal with his jokes anymore. I see you guys. Well, you know this game is made by Sid Meier. Yes. Yes it, yes, it was. Please, please stop. Please find something better to do. <laughs> please find something funnier to say. Um. You, you, you'd say that a better joke is my desire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I... But I'm not that hard of a trier. Uh, well, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I guess, uh... Uh, uh, like, we're, we're, we're mentally ill. I, yeah, I was gonna say, like, I'm, I'm, not only am I running out of funny things to say, I don't think this bit was that funny to begin with. <laughs> I think we're just, we're just perpetuating it because there's nothing better to do. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Which, you know. Um... All right, so we retook the city. This time, I don't know. Of... Who knows? We might be getting, uh, we might have to tire. We might have to retire. I'm gonna burn the city down this time. Again, casual arson. It's sad, but those people couldn't be convinced that being a Viking was awesome, and so you know they were lost cause. Because being a Viking. Oh, we should have got them on the wire. <laughs> Just utter silence. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you can tell how disappointed I am. <laughs> Through, me, through my lack of re reaction in any way. <laughs> um, alright, but... So, given that series of... Uh, I wouldn't say Ooh, it's a boy. failure. I'd just say that I... Um, it's a tactical pause. We're taking a tactical pause right now on the war. We're putting the war on pause. Now, haven't you ever read the Iliad? Like, they do that all the time. Yeah, So, sure. we're gonna... We're gonna put the war on pause... Uh, Hunza has a unique bonus where Sweet. my trade routes generate extra gold for every five tiles they travel. That cool. just means I need to get extra uh, extra trade routes. Okay, this one here, Mo Mohen Mohenyodaro, I believe, uh, gives me, let's see, my cities have full housing from water as if they were all next to a river. Ooh, actually, I kind of want that one. Um, so if you get six envoys to each... So you would say that that war had backfire? Uh, if you get six envoys at a city-state, <laughs> you get their unique bonus. And so I was just comparing the unique bonuses between those two. And, so uh, did your alliance one. expire? Speak... Okay. This is a much better deal. Um, actually, no, not... It's, is it a better deal? Hold on. Ooh, eight, yeah. Eight? Well, Looks okay. Like a, it was, I mean, originally, he was offering me... And then eight. Originally, he was offering me 300 gold over the course of 10. That's actually going to be a lot less. This is 8 times 3. That's, um, two, so 239 gold less than what you would have gotten uh, at 10. Let me, let me just... Hold on. Let me get if rid of If you make it 60 gold, that. That, he might take that. Oh. Do 10 gold per turn. Nope. Okay, wow. He is just oh, not man. budging on this. Uh, Try making it 9. Try making it 9. This one 9. Yeah. I don't... Yeah, he ain't gonna budge. Boo. He ain't budging on this. Alright, well, you know what? It's okay. I already he did burn down... He lost out on 29 whole gold. That's okay, because he lost out on a city. And so he's gotta capitulate. And now, uh, Gorgo's gonna be upset with him. Which means he has an upset Spartan woman with 237 military strength to his north. Yeah, yeah, we're... We're, we're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> I love how he was immediately like, hey, I know we just stopped fighting, but get your units out of here already. Like, oh yeah, dude, God. calm down. Christ. 
Um, all right. So is Gorgo available for hire? I'm gonna stop dignifying these with responses. That oh. was that was. Well, what's it gonna require? What do you want me to name this episode? If you're if you're such if you're so good at puns, come up with something clever for me to name this episode. Um, I mean, we don't know any vampire. Does that have to do? You know I'm... what? I, I no, nope. I that that's fine. That, I'll take it. I'll take it. The people right. when they when they see the Maybe title. We can get, um... You know, if we had a really nice mansion, we could have an Esquire. When the people see this episode, and they they see the title, and they're like, why is the title so weird? Then they watch the episode, and they're going to be like, oh, that's why the title is so weird. This, yeah, this episode has gone haywire. Um, <laughs> I, where do I... You know, a comedian is what I aspire to be. Do you, do you guys? I hope you guys appreciate this content. Uh, I. You know, if if we even inspire one person, that's good. Can we take a break? <laughs> I think we should. I wanted to do I think more we definitely episodes. Should. I think I I legitimately wanted to do multiple episodes of of Civ today, like a bunch more episodes. But now I really don't want to. Oh. Your your jokes have gotten uh drier. <laughs> I already did a dryer joke. You can't reuse. Uh, oh. Yeah, I can. It's called um, reuse, uh -huh. reduce, recycle, and it's time for us to take a break and retire. So yeah, call yeah. Well, We've I'm, already I'm, done retire. Yep, but I'm re I'm re recycling it. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, I hope the comment section of this Ooh. video is just a bunch of jokes that end in ire, just to spite you. Please. Yeah, uh, just funny. because I'm so... I'm already sick of this. Alright, 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 cool. I'm taking a break. <laughs> okay. Bye, bye, bye. Goodbye.